Tony Hahn is here with us, representing the Associated Landscape Contractors of Colorado. Tony, thanks so much for joining us. You bet. Thanks uh, for having me. This is probably a very familiar scene for lots of people. Uh, what are some tips to try and battle this? Well, I'll give you some tips, but first I want to give you a little background. This has been a very difficult year for turf grass because of what happened beginning last fall. We uh, had a very dry fall. Everybody turned their sprinklers off and then it stayed dry. January and February, very dry. The turf desiccated uh, through the winter. So we had a lot of dead grass come springtime. And after our first hot 90 degree, 90 degree, this grass, which wasn't getting water, started to go dormant. Okay, yikes. Is it too late? I mean, no, if this is what's going no, on right no, now, is it too late Yeah, to it isn't too late. It isn't too late. Um, what you can do to, to see the obvious problem is we're not getting enough enough water. I was outside the nine backyard and I went to a spot that was a little bit brown and there was a sprinkler head right nearby, but this is you just caught us. dry. <laughs> but I went a foot away, a foot away from that dry okay. spot in the nine news backyard and then nice and moist, nice okay. and moist. So most of the time, these brown areas are due to lack of sprinkler coverage. So check the sprinkler coverage. The other thing you can do is try to mow the lawn at three inches. Uh, the biggest problem I see is people mow too short. Okay. So, try, you know, come out and measure, and it should be about to that first knuckle right there. That's where you should be mowing the lawn. So keep it nice so and So if they think long. that manicured look is good, it actually might be hurting it. You can keep that manicured look as long as you water it. Okay. But if we want to save water, and just because our reservoirs are full, doesn't mean we should waste water. And believe it or not, in the almost 40 years that I've been doing this in Denver, I think we water about 20 to 25 percent too much. Okay. So we can cut back a little bit if we're wise about how we mow and how we water. Is this going to help because I know my family struggles with this having patches of lush green grass and then these awful ugly patches of brown grass. Uh, wh what do you do to solve that? You know, you do have to have a green thumb, and the definition that I was given in college, a person who has a green thumb is somebody that knows how to water. So, and that's, that's pure and simple. Just know your yard. Don't set your sprinkler system and forget it. Most people, they're busy. They just set the sprinkler and then they walk away, set it and forget it. We can't do that because, you know, we'll have a day like today when it's nice and cool. Right. So should people be still watering it and keeping it consistent even when it's raining? Absolutely. Or uh, keep it consistent. I like to try and let my grass get a little bit on the dry side because if we overwater, we tend to have disease activity. And that's where we run into the issues. We overwater, we fertilize too much, and then we get into the disease conditions. Which So I like to keep my lawn a little on the dry side where it, just about says help water <laughs> and then I'll turn the water on. All right, don't set it and forget it.